Welcome to Mountain Brook Farm. My name is Wade Belter and I would like to talk to you about a Holland Lop litter that we have. There's just one kit in this litter, kit uh, 44V1. That's right, um, it is out of the damn Peachy Buns Vegas uh, Chestnut Holland Lop dough and the sire Mountain Brook Jonah, a blue-eyed white Holland Lop buck. This was a test breeding, um, and there were no blue-eyed whites in the litter, which means that Vegas, our dam, is clean lines with no Vienna. And this kit is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. Jonah, the sire of this litter, is a smaller buck. He's not a... Uh, a super big buck, buck, but he also is, um, he's got a really good, um, structure to him. So him and Vegas are actually a really good, a really good cross. Um, because this kit, even though it's only nine days old, I see a lot of potential in this kit. And there is some white on the nose, so I don't know. It's very possible that it could have blue eyes. But being that the um, sire was a blue-eyed white, the at least this kit is going to be a Vienna carrier. So it's pretty much guaranteed it's, it's a Vienna carrier. Could be Vienna marked if we find out it has blue eyes. It's just a handsome little thing. Since this was a test breeding, um, by breeding a uh, clean lines rabbit to a blue-eyed white, let's talk about the Vienna gene and blue-eyed white. So if you breed a blue-eyed white to a blue-eyed white, 100% of the litter is going to be blue-eyed white. No exceptions. If you breed a blue-eyed white to a Vienna carrier, 50% of the litter will be blue-eyed white. 50% of the litter will be Vienna carrier. If you breed a blue-eyed white to a non-Vienna, um, that means that 100% of the litter will be Vienna carriers, no exceptions. If you breed a Vienna carrier to a Vienna carrier, you will have 50% Vienna carriers, 25% non-Vienna carriers, and 25% blue-eyed white in the litter. If you breed a non-Vienna to a non-Vienna, 100% of the litter is going to be non Vienna, no exceptions. Remember, a Vienna carrier or blue-eyed white bred to a non-Vienna will never produce blue-eyed white. Also remember that while many Vienna carriers have white markings and may even have blue eyes, there are far more that do not visually express the gene at all. So you cannot tell just by looking at a rabbit if they are a Vienna carrier or not. This is why making notations of blue-eyed white or Vienna heritage possibilities on pedigrees is so important. Another thing to consider is that many breeders avoid breeding chocolate into a blue-eyed white uh, program uh, due to undesirable eye coloration. Well, um, I know because we do breed chocolate and Vienna together that um, the eye is an interesting thing to watch. And for the most part, when we have Vienna blue eyes, you don't tell the difference whatsoever at all. It's that there are different levels of blue eyes. I think in the Vienna um, gene with what it uh, 
how it expresses itself. So, but yes, chocolate will potentially put a red hue on the blue eye, which is um, undesirable in um, a lot of cases. Okay, lastly, something to keep in mind is that the percentages listed previously are for each kit. Not the litter as a whole, unless the result is 100% foolproof. This means that each kit in a litter of, say, blue-eyed white to Vienna carrier mating has a 50% chance of being blue-eyed white. As such, actual litter percentages may vary. We've reached the end of our presentation. Um, thank you for watching our litter updates and videos. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.